A popular tourist attraction in British Columbia has once again been the target of dangerous vandalism. The main cable on the Sea to Sky gondola was cut, just like it was a year ago. CTV's BC Bureau Chief Melanie Nagy on the investigation and the millions in damages. Through the morning haze, cables can be seen dangerously drooping towards the ground. A popular BC tourist attraction, the Sea to Sky gondola, deliberately sabotaged. This was not an accident. Uh, this was done by someone or a group of individuals who uh, cut the gondola cables. At around 4 a.m., someone climbed one of the gondola towers and then cut the main steel cable, sending multiple passenger cabins crashing to the forest floor. We're very lucky uh, today that nobody was injured and that it was early enough in the morning when the gondola was not active. No one hurt, but people camping nearby say they were jolted from their sleep by a thunderous sound. I heard a noise that I thought was a tree that had fallen. It just sounded like the, like the rocks were just coming off the wall. It just... Poof, poof, poof. It sounded pretty bad and I was, oh, I hope it's not the gondola again. The cables that haul the gondola cabins up and down the mountain are 55 millimeters thick and this isn't the first time they've been cut. This event mirrors last year's event uh, in, a, in a very eerie fashion. The tourist destination was also targeted last August. Like today, the haul line was intentionally severed during the early morning hours. It took six months and five million dollars to repair the system. This individual is acting in a way to break the lift and to take the business down. There's been no arrest from the first time the cables were cut. Since then, however, an extensive network of surveillance cameras have been installed. Police are now combing through the footage looking for clues as to who set out to deliberately damage a BC business for a second time. Melanie Nagy, CTV News, Squamish, BC.